Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, so we know this 5.3 earthquake hit last night in Soda Springs, Idaho. 5.3, very shallow. It was only 9.2 kilometers. But folks, since it happened last night, there has been an unbelievable situation developed. 54 aftershocks that are at least 2.5 or higher. Now, there's a bunch of them even lower than that. But let's just go with the ones 2.5 or higher on the U.S. Geological Survey. 54 of them, including a 4.1, a 4.2, a 4.3, and we just had another one, a 4.5, and that one was strong, okay? And the problem is all these aftershocks are anywhere from 7 kilometers to 5 to 2.8. I mean, I mean, they're just very shallow. So the earth is really shaken over there in uh, Soda Springs, Idaho. They're literally, their ground is moving under their feet. And this super volcano, uh, first of all, Yellowstone National Park is only 136 miles from there. And the, the, the super volcano, the main spot of it, is only 198 miles. So this area in Soda Springs, Idaho, it is part of, I mean, the super volcanoes underneath them, folks. It is the Yellowstone Danger Zone. Yes, it is. So which is more dangerous? The super volcano that's rumbling and shaking or Kim Jong-un, who's pushing the green button uh, and hit and caused a 6.3 earthquake. He also caused a couple um, aftershocks, one of which I believe was a 4.5, let's see, a 4.1 uh, aftershock. So he, he caused that. So, I mean, we're talking about here, but but North Korea did not cause the Yellowstone earthquake. Yellowstone earthquake happened before Kim Jong-un went boom, boom, boom in North Korea. And so three, it, so it happened at Idaho, happened three and a half hours ahead of Kim Jong-un. So they're not, they're not related. That was a false rumor on the internet. But certainly, certainly you got to ask yourself, which is more dangerous? Oh, oh, can let's just throw in Hurricane Harvey and record flooding 49 inches. Houston, we've got a problem, massive flooding. But wait, what do you want to do with Hurricane Irma? And then there's two more storms that are also forming and are looking dangerous. So you ask yourself a question. Which is more, what should we focus our part? Like somebody asked Nancy Pelosi, where is Nancy Pelosi right now? Maybe she thinks we should still go around taking down statues. Maybe we should be all in the in the streets protesting against free speech or beating up that pastor at UC Bar- Berkeley for having a prayer meeting. Or maybe we should just spend all our time, the media should just wring their hands over stilettos, over, over high heels. I mean, really, folks, let's get really real here. Can somebody get really real with me for a minute? Or maybe we should get concerned about your soul, where it's at. Where are you with, with where are you with God? And let's go back a minute. August 21st, total solar eclipse. And it's the first day of the 40 days of repentance of Elu. And we're not even through the 40 day. We can't even, we can't even get to, to September 23rd yet. And we've got Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, massive flooding in Nepal and, and India and Bangladesh with 1,200 people killed. Massive flooding now in China. And, and, and now we got Yellowstone. And then we got Kim Jong-un. So, guys, this has all been happening. And we're not even, even to September 23rd yet. Are you saved? Are you seriously, seriously concerned what I'm telling you? What? You don't want to miss tonight's Sunday Night Live. I mean, forget it. There's nothing else you should be doing. Because really, is it relevant? We're going to talk about all the current world events, 
how they relate to biblical prophecy. We're going to break down the Kim Jong-un threat. What is the possibilities? What does he, com- what possibilities does, th- what, look, we've been lied to by somebody. This man's got a lot of opportunity to cause some massive damage. And then what about Yellowstone? Are we being lied to about Yellowstone? I think so. I think so. It's the Yellowstone danger zone. It's for real. Are you?